Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to get one of those mobility swaying. carts just for your schlong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. the basket's for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cassinda, how many brats does your penis eat a week, would you say? At least, uh, depends on how fast they absorb in, but at least two. <laughs> Do you ever store them underneath Absorbed. the foreskin as well? <laughs> I'm American, Josh. I don't have a foreskin. Come on. Now. <laughs> Do you not? No Americans no. do. They we remove them here, oh, over here. I have no fucking idea why, but they do. They're and no feeling either, either, apparently. Oh, is that well, what happens? happens? No, I, I think I can feel things, Anna. I mean, can you? Besides, I thought not, it like n- not with that numbed size, you. mate. Not with that size. Well, what do you feel? Is it's heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel ribs cracking, and I feel uh, spleens bursting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like to be absorbed. <laughs> what episode is this? So that, that I, forty-eight is it? Is it really say forty-six? No, we did forty-six. We should. The reason I know that we did forty-six is because I asked Grok. You know what Grok is? Oh, there's that feedback again. No, we're so professional. Next year, we're hoping to be slightly better. Hannah, I think it's, it's for episode- you. It's episode 47, 47. By the way. Yeah, we're on 47. Yeah. I asked Rock, he said, you're up to 46. And uh, I may ask him now to solve Hannah's feedback issue. But Maybe he actually knows. A minute ago. Yeah, when you talk, we don't hear it because you're talking. I've got no green bar thingy. I and I can hear it. So I don't think it's me. Hmm. So, end of season one, episode 47. It's been a long Good season, I think. And it's someone, been a slog. He has. I'll tell you what, someone did send in a question. A slog. For Hannah, actually. No. I'm shocked. Is there any point in any of us well, ever being here? I swear it's just, just to have a show, isn't it? <laughs> well, isn't he got there what, in the end. Isn't that what Brock said, though? Isn't that what we asked him? Is. We asked, I say him, I mean, the way that he's responding. I. I don't know. Am I going to get in trouble for saying that? I, don't. I think Rock's got a thing for me. Is he going to he's slide like into every... your DMs? I mean, he has, he's got the ability to. He's, <laughs> he's on Twitter. He owns it, basically. Get to the back so. of the queue. So, Grok says, Hannah, would you... <laughs> honestly, this is exactly... I'm going to read it word for word. Would you rather have a wild night with James Madison where the only way to climax is by inserting a fish finger into his ass. Oh, who's there? Or, <laughs> or have a solo session Three. with a fish finger vibrator that only sings Sweet Carolina, but also vibrates <laughs> to the rhythm of the song. And every time you orgasm, it squirts hot sauce on your ass. <laughs> I swear to God, I am going... Look, you know what's great about this? I can actually retweet it. Right, hang on. Can we reload this? Excuse the pun. Can we just... I need to hear that from start to finish again. Right. Would you rather... By the way, this is AI asking you this question based on... Are you joking? I asked him... I literally said, have you listened to our show? No, he said, give me a second. Ask away, he said. It was like literally a sec. I said, okay, well, can you, can you ask a question for Hannah at the beginning of the pod? Would you like it to be rude like the rest of them? Uh, that fucking feedback, Hannah. And he said, I, I said, I said, I said, yeah. So he's all right. Let's take it up a notch. This is exactly what he says. Would you rather have a wild night with James Madison? One minute. Hannah, mute yourself a minute. Okay, I shall. Would you rather have a wild night with James Madison where the only way to climax is by inserting a fish finger into his ass? Or have a solo session with a fish finger vibrator that not only sings Sweet Carolina, but also vibrates to the rhythm of the song. And every time you orgasm, it squirts hot sauce on your ass. You can unmute yourself and laugh. <laughs> um, I think that's a relatively easy one, actually. 
Okay. I'm going to go with option one because I like girls can attest to this. We don't like any setting that doesn't go. Zzz. We don't like the. Zzz, zzz. I don't want sweet Caroline. Is that why fucking Josh? Is that what Josh? What's going on in Josh's background? Right now, no. But I have just noticed a mouse running around in my kitchen. You solved it. Right. There's a mouse in your kitchen. Oh my god! I need to take a <laughs> <You> dirty bastard. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, it's disappeared. Of course it has. You're I'm up whose ass? I just sat here, and in the corner of my eye, I see some movement, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Oh, Johnny, I heard your schlong needs feeding, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit back, Johnny. It'll reach. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah. Sorry, Hannah. We we interrupted. Please no, continue. no, that's fine. It's quite quite an easy one, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go with option one. I um, yeah, I think he'd like that firstly, and yeah, like we said, the setting issue. It's got to be a. Z- it can't be to Sweet Caroline. That's outrageous. <laughs> I don't know why he's <laughs> Sweet Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the outrageous that. part of that question. <laughs> yes, good times never have felt so good, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's going to go, zzz, 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 isn't it? And I don't like that. <laughs> yes, I got a big solid one. <laughs> yeah, just a continuous. I like to know what <laughs> I'm getting myself into, so. Is the fish finger frozen? I can That you're that. inserting, he says the word inserting. It's not going up my arse, is into it? Into his so. arse. Is I'll it smash it in there, I don't mind. One minute, let me ask. Knowing James Madison, like you do, like you do, Brock. I think something has to go into side of somebody's ass, doesn't it? As a general do rule of thumb. Absolutely. Do you believe that James would enjoy it? <laughs> also, uh, happy to let you know that Hannah opted for option one. Did Let's it see. say it squirts hot sauce on my ass? Yeah. Is that what it said? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll hot agree. sauce is going nowhere near that part of my body. <laughs> well, it doesn't go in for the first part, does it? It just comes out there. But gravity is a thing. So let me put this on the. Because it depends so on how you're all, laying, doesn't it? We'll see it. There you go. I suppose so. What? Oh, oh. so this is Grok's. That's what he just said. Well, well, well. It seems like James Madison has found himself in quite the spicy. Shut up, Shishi. The spicy scenario, <laughs> thanks to you and Hannah. What have I got to do with it? Given what we've <laughs> gathered from the search results and ex posts. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Oh it's diffi- no. It's difficult to say for certain whether James would enjoy a romantic dinner. With a fish finger <laughs> as the only <laughs> utensil, or a solo night in with a vibrator What's that sings "Sweet he's Carolina." Got sit- <laughs> he's got to sit there for a free course meal. Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> However, given his apparent adventurous spirit and the fact that he's not one to shy away from a challenge, I wouldn't be surprised if he embraced the situation with open arms and perhaps a few laughs. After all, and open cheeks. Yeah, who who who, 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 who I can picture him gaping, saying, "Go on, Hannah." In that in wow. that like Coventry Midlands accent, deeper. Yeah. Right. After yeah. all, who wouldn't want to dine with a beautiful woman? What the fuck? And wow. a fish finger, or have a solo session with a singing vibrator? It's certainly a unique experience that he won't forget anytime soon. So there you go. Josh, for, for the last time, do you want to uh, tell everyone what's about to be on the pod that we've clearly not prepared for and we should call this one feedback? Ready? Uh, Over to you. Oh, oh cut what? Really? I mean, I. Uh, jo- it's been uh, so long, James. Jacinda posted it. I then. Uh, reposted. Yeah, reposted. Uh, by the way, if, if you guys don't know who. Is it. How, how do you pronounce it? Sorry, Cassie. Yeah, how do you pronounce your name? I would say Yacinda. So, so Yacinda, you, you're formerly known as Johnny, has now right. decided to identify as a... Are you a Cuban woman? What, what is it? I'm a Cuban-American, six and a half feet tall, bald, about 300 pounds, low, deep voice, um, gigantic penis. What <laughs> Eats else is dead there? rats. Eats <laughs> dead rats. <laughs> I feel like Johnny and Alex Letizia would get on really well. I reckon they would. I did tag her, tag him in one of our posts the other day, actually. 
Who is who is this? Uh-huh. Um, oh, I, mate. I, yeah, it's exactly. Matt Letizia's daughter-in-law. Uh, yeah, and she, oh, he's actually honestly. just in-law. Yeah, daughter-in-law. Oh, I know the one and you're talking about. And his son is like number one cuck. <laughs> Who, Matt Letizia? Imagine, Matt, imagine, Matt imagine, imagine, yeah. Imagine, yeah. Imagine not just being a cuck, but like the king of them. To that. That's impressive. I would say to, to that. that as well. That's like... That's got self-harm written like, all over it. Like, it's like, <laughs> picture Jabba the Hutt in a Southampton football shirt. But more clapped. Less yeah. Why is, where's all the background noise gone? What's happened? Uh, James muted himself, I think. Oh, how the turns have tabled. <laughs> Was it him? Yep, I know who you're noise? talking about now. Was it him all this say. time? <laughs> I've just been gaslighting us from episode one. <laughs> oh, really? I thought we got rid of all that off this pod. <laughs> it's, it's like listening in the AC. <laughs> oh, he's back. Shut up. <laughs> one minute. I've got the AC on. It's fucking 35 degrees. You're the feedback. I know, he was a marine. Like... Hold on. <laughs> no. Let me turn off. Come on, Sergeant. Sort your shit out, mate. Sweat it out. Come on. <laughs> oh, I've turned it off. Is there still feedback? No. It sounds better. What, the AC was fucking giving us feedback? I Fuck can't you, believe AC. you gaslighted me the whole <clears throat> way through. I'm a man. That's what men do. They gaslight women. <laughs> and I'm a woman and I received job. it badly. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, are you ready? Because like we've been recording for 11 minutes. And... Well, it's hardly my fault, is it? Let's be honest. Well, I, I think, think you, you, were, you, were playing, you were playing GTA for how many hours? I was playing COD. <laughs> oh. Go on, then. Are you ready? Okay. I'm, try- I'm trying to be, but you just keep fucking going on, Mush. Like, give it a rest. No, Ow, I just kicked the table. I deserve that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> At least ate the ankles. Yeah. Right, okay, so... It's reached you, that's what it is. It's, it's not really a running order. It's, it's, nudged, about. it's nudged the table out of the way trying to find that fucking little mouse. Go on, are you ready? <laughs> Can't be right, that. it's not... Re- so, what we've got is we've got three things. We've got grade our season on a few things. Fan support, Ange, Levy, performance, players, etc. Number two, lots of summer movements. and hinted at moving lots of players out. And uh, what player do you not want to be sold so that rules Tosh out of any conversation there and number three <laughs> biggest surprise and biggest disappointment of the season and point number four is Hannah talking about the other way at the end should we get into it then you didn't write that did you I did actually well, you did here. you just can't read you fucking spastic where I'm looking at it now I've got ideas for chip pod on Tuesday. You do realise we are next... recording a podcast that goes out to a few thousand people. <laughs> <Yeah. years. laughs> this isn't is prep. Here. This isn't prep. Thank God, it's the last that. one. <laughs> <laughs> so, grade our season, Hannah. We're going to start with you. Like, let's start. You can answer fan support because you're very emotionally intelligent. Your EQ is very high. Hmm. What do you think about fan I support? That one, chief. Um. Really fucking fickle, actually. Um, obviously, like the first ten games were best times of our lives, <laughs> and it was pleased. fine then. And it, yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I think it's been really, really shit actually. Um, the whole love affair with Ange fell apart qu- pretty quickly. Um, the whole oh, it's a free hit from the beginning of the season that disappeared. Um, so, yeah, I'm not particularly impressed with fan support. I don't think people... Well, I think people are being very short-sighted this season, considering there's clearly something happening, like there's clearly something being built. Um, yeah, short-sighted. Fickle. Bunch of cunts. They are, right? All of us. Bunch of cunts. Agreed. So that was your emotional intelligence for you. Lovely. <laughs> Bunch of cunts. Jacinda, do you want to tell us about Ange? Just head loss FC. <laughs> Ange. Ange. Um, <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know. I, 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 let's give him a... Uh, I think he did a solid performance. I mean, it's... It, 
the fan support is there. Uh, the club support is there. I think, at least from what I can see, sitting a couple thousand miles away, the player supports there, and all those things wrapped up. I think it's a it's a way to shift the mentality that the club has had for the past decade or so. Right. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Uh, of I would him? say, I, I think he's I think he's done well. Him personally, or his this season so far. Not so far. In. This Whoa. season, wrap all in. Yeah. Well, I guess it's good that we actually have the same manager starting and ending the season, so that's a big positive. Uh, that hasn't happened in a few years. And, um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and I think the, I think more importantly, I think he's, I think he's, he's doing a good job of reframing things in a way that fans can get behind him players are behind him and the chairman will hopefully back him. So I'd say, I'd say it's pretty solid season. You know, uh, if you wanted a grade letter, you know, maybe like a B, B plus, I'd say at times he was a little too stuck in his ways and not being flexible enough. I think the last two season, two, two matches of the season, he changed some layout and some players. And I think he gained some respect that way. Um, but yeah, I think I, I, I can't wait for next season to start, to be honest with you. Hmm. Uh, Josh, let's go over to you. Hannah doesn't want to herself. With regards to Levy, what do you think? This was the topic I didn't want because it's the one I probably know least about. Uh... Do you want to swap then? Do you want to swap with Todd? Okay, yeah, Todd is more financially savvy than I am. Oh, you should see my bank account. I am not <laughs> um, spending it on uh, hookers and blow. I wish. Just, just McDonald's. It's a sad, lonely life over here, Josh. Don't get the <laughs> new menu, by the way. The new McDonald's menu stinks. Is it? It can't be as bad as my curry just now. To be fair, I've been writing. You can grade that after. Review. Oh, don't, don't remind me. Um, right, can <laughs> we repeat the question, please? Yeah. So, what do you think? About Levy this season. Remember, he um, was on that fans forum. I don't know if you remember it. Yeah, I think, bar the sort of season ticket fiasco, um, which I think is probably more of a timing issue than a club issue, I think this has arguably been one of his best seasons at the club. Um, just in terms of everything that's all gone on, we've had, in terms of, you know, the Levy out shit people hate. Um, he's done very well at in terms of getting events at the stadium, keep it in use. Um, you know, trance windows were positive on the whole. There's activity in every window. Good money spent. I know people say Poro, Klazdeski don't count and we sold Kane, but you know, end of the day, the money was spent in these windows in this season. Um, so yeah, I think it's been pretty good on the whole from Levy. I think on the pitch has really helped his cause. Um, but yeah, I, I think on the whole it's been pretty positive. I can't really think of a bad thing to say in that regard, to be honest. Well, let's be honest. Ange was backed, right? Both in, yeah. both in the summer and January. That's the thing. And we've already... I know, okay, it's a returning player, but already got someone in for next season in Werner returning. Um, whether he's up to the standard or not, you know, it's a different question, but it's, again, just getting plays in the door early, which we never did, I, I think. Sorry. I reckon Kevin. he'll be ideal for Europa League. I reckon He screams spe- Europa League, doesn't he? He does. He's got that awoe vibe about him. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see him scoring, like, the most, like, horrific hat-trick against, like, Asteras Plumbers. Like, Literally. You just see it the- now. Orange lights everywhere. Oh, they should bring back the. Um, oh, what was our goal music? I've forgotten what it's called. Sandstorm. The COVID. So, yeah, they should bring that back for the Europa League nights. <laughs> like a twenty percent full capacity Tottenham Hotspur Stadium with that blaring as Werner scores a shit house header <laughs> on the goal line. Perfect. I need it. Look into the veins. Josh, performance, mate. Yeah. Over to you. 
Um, I reckon when everyone got their hopes up so high, because obviously everyone was, we all said free hit for Ange, didn't we? And then 10 games in, we're unbeaten, we're top of the league, etc. Then everyone's, we, we peaked basically, because obviously that Chelsea game, it, it was like a Thanos click on our season. And then everyone's um, expectations changed as after that game. Like, they all thought we were entitled to be in this title race. We should have been in a title race. I, personally, um, also, I've, I went into the gimmick of the whole could we thing that everyone was raving on about. But, before, but that was due to the performances we were putting in. Like, those first games... Like, we were ridiculous. We were so good. The first game against Brentford was a bit wild in the sense I thought Vicario was a fucking nut job, just running off his line at every given opportunity. And then that was literally, that was the last we saw of that. I don't know what, I don't know what happened that game, but he stopped doing it. And then, was it Man United after that? I'm sure that was the first home game of the season, wasn't it, Man United? Yeah. And then, literally everything kicked off, kicked on from there. Like, Played them off the park. Yeah, we got a bit of lucky in the first half, but with Fernandez missing that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the performances for the next few games after that, we were so good. We kept clean sheets as well, which was crazy when you think how think how it ended. But when that Chelsea game happened, obviously, what two red cards to Adogi and Romero, then obviously Madison and Van der Ven both get injured. Both who. Or probably our players of the season by that point. New players that have just come in. And he pundits are raving about him. None of us knew who Van der Ven was. He turned out to be the most beautiful man in the world who's insanely good at football. And Did you, can I just interrupt? Did you hear yes, what on. James Madison said? On yes, I was what, on TalkSport yes, yeah, yeah, yesterday. Do, do you want to tell the listeners what you said? Um, <laughs> there was a point when, um, after a few weeks of obviously training with Van der Ven, he said to said to him, like, I can't believe I've never heard of you. Like, he obviously he didn't say it straight away because he wanted uh, Mickey to fit in. But eventually he said to him, I can't believe I've never heard of you. How is a defender as good as you, as quick as you? Why is no one talking about you? You're so young. And yet <laughs> he's n- never heard of him. And Madison was saying as well, like, he is the fastest player he's ever seen. He's rapid. Like, even in training, he is like a fucking train. But, yeah, like I said, obviously, the performance-wise, we never ever, since that Chelsea game, we never seem to get back on track. After that, it was always like a a mishmash or like a 50-50 if we were going to win a game. Like, before then, I was confident going into games. Like, oh, we'll, we'll do these, we'll do these. And then once all the injuries start kicking in, the suspensions, etc., it was just like going down rapids, wasn't it? It was fucking... So you, t- you couldn't judge what was going to happen. And then, yeah, so people just sort of just he jumped, jumped on Andrew's back. They all wanted to be in a title race in his rebuild season when he's still got players like fucking Brian Hill at the club. Like he's going to carry you to a title race. And then, yeah, I personally, if you're going to mark his perf- the performances out of 10, I'd probably say this season it's probably a 7. Like, obviously, would have liked a trophy, etc. But... It is what it is, isn't it? But yeah, that's what that's my opinion on it. Do you all agree with that? Because I, I, I do. I think the fact, I think the fact that um, I don't know about you guys. I really jumped on for those of you who've been listening to the earlier pods. I, I was like, yeah, you're gonna win, win the fucking league and all this stuff. I think it's a learning curve for for all of us, isn't it? Right, Hannah, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. I. I think it depends on how much you actually actually thought that as opposed to just jumping on the kind of good vibes that were around at that point. Like, I think it became a bit of like a running joke because we are the most self-deprecating fan base. Um, but, I don't know, I put a bet on for us to win every year, so I'm like ultra positive. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm fucking skim, mate. <laughs> the only bet that I put on in my life, um, actually put a bet on, was the one that you guys saw when we were 2-0 mm-hmm. down at halftime to Newcastle. And I put down, we're going to win, was it 3-2? Or we're going to get back to 2-all? Mm-hmm. Never seen that 20 again. And you said, I feel like I've 
yeah, you said I feel like I've just burnt 20 pounds. And I was like, you have. Yeah. <laughs> we just lost sensationally. You burnt it with the chance of making more, though. That's the way you've got to look at it. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, I, I think for next season, it's it's just a, it's a process, right? So, for instance, view it like losing weight. And Hannah, you won't know yeah, what I'm talking about. <laughs> so Hannah won't know what I'm talking about, but... Ere you will. So what what we're what we're gonna Why are you all laughing? What? I'm not fat shaming, Eric. Oh man. All right, so I think, I think the only way Hannah knows how to lose weight is to have a baby. I say so, that or each the fistful of dairy dunkers. <laughs> shit herself loss. Yeah, it's just if I just have to look at ice cream. Just has a baby girl. But let's say let's let us let us say you've got I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in kilos. Hannah, do me a favor, mute yourself a minute. I'm going to put this in kilos, and what is pounds? One minute. Say you have to lose, like, I don't know, 40 kilos, 40 kgs in pounds. You have quite a few American listens. So you've, got, you've got to lose 88 pounds, right? And what you do is you go and sign up to the best goddamn gym. You go and buy the best Nike equip or not uh, sportswear that you can get. And you go to the gym for three days, and then all of a sudden you think, fuck it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. Next week, I would have lost the 88 pounds or the 40 kilos. And I I got sucked into that. Do you know what I mean? I really did, Hannah. I, honestly, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't just, oh, I'm really excited by the way things are going. I was being honest on the pod when I said what, when I said what I was saying. And um, I it was a mistake. Because maybe we, at that yeah. point we had lost five kilos uh, and we still had 35 to go so we'd lost 11 pounds and we still had 79 is that right i think that it depends on how that it left you feeling afterwards though like oh i thought we fine. i think we are yeah ex- exactly so if it's only a learning curve if you didn't feel good at the end of it and then you have to learn from it but actually i don't know i'm gonna do it again next year so not lose weight, obviously. Well, I might. Who knows? I'm actually being fed now. Right. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to tackle the players? Me? Teeth, uh, oh, no, sorry. Hannah, Hannah, <laughs> Go on, Hannah. Talk about the players. You don't have to no, give, like, to you, players. You don't have to give like, ratings or anything. So I've been listening to loads of pods where they're giving like, school ratings, like A- minus and all that crap. And ratings out of ten. I, that's I, so subjective. Yeah, How about just anybody, any, anybody that sucked this year that you thought was going to be better, or anybody that was better that you thought you were, that you kind of thought would maybe suck. Um. What from like before the season started? Is yeah. that what you mean? Yes. Yes. Um. Okay. I'll be honest. I wasn't utterly convinced on Vicario when he came. But totally he's turned out. Totally yeah, exactly. Um, but he's turned out to be yeah. fucking brilliant. So um, I can't he's think. I can't think. Well. He's definitely, but he's like an autistic king, and I love that. <laughs> um, I wasn't convinced I that Poro would Poro would adjust real well either. But he has turned in. He was fantastic this year. Yeah, I don't know how he's missed That's out on the Spain squad. That's insane, isn't it? Was it? It's is insane. It? Is it Navas who's taken his space? Yeah, the old City player. He's about 98. Really? He's still going. Yeah. 98. <laughs> They've got like, Hector Beller in there as well. Has he been selected? Surely. I thought he's like just a model and like Shagging just sympathy carder. I don't know what he's what doing. He, but he oh, likes um, to play fucking self righteousness. Even Laporte has been picked. He plays for Alba Sir. Oh, they've got that Grimaldo, to be fair, the Leverkusen player. He's all right. He's all right. We should get back to Spurs, though. Please. I think, yeah. Here, go on, Torch. Um, um, ooh. I'll do two players. I think standout for me was... I don't know, it's probably... I think I didn't envision... I always, I always loved Romero, but I didn't see him being as good as he was. I think the same with Van de Ven. Um, the pair of them I think were just outstanding 
difficult season, hard to fault. I think the most of our back five, to be fair, we can say that for. Um, I don't think anyone really deserves below like a 7 out of 10 for the season. I think underwhelming. Um, <laughs> and no, no, no guesses on this one. Um, oh, here we go. He had his contributions. Well, he had 15 of them. The 15 that you 15. said he needed to be told to be a good signing. Yeah. It's funny how you knew exactly who he was going to say as well, Josh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah, everyone did. so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the thing. I'm just like, I just, I just wanted more from him in terms of general play. Like, I wanted to see him, like, take his man on a little more. Like, run at players, terrorise him a little bit. And he, but he just, like, does tap-ins. And fair enough, getting in the positions, that's, like, one of the hardest things in football to anticipate and get there. But... I just want more from him, effectively. I just want to see him like go at play instead of just sort of like just stopping. To uh to, to close this loop, uh Hannah, what were you saying about fickle fan support? What was that again? Something about fickle um, fan support and, and and Taj is like right there with it. <laughs> oh yeah, we banned him for that all season. <laughs> My god. When he eventually conceded that actually Johnson might be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. When was that? Well, oh, that you admitted you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall. Uh, we Josh, find it for me, babe. <laughs> I was going to delete every message in the group chat quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> no, you're pretty um, measured normally in your criticism. I have to say that. Yeah, I just uh, yeah, I just want him. I just want more from him. I think for the money we spent, and I know you can't control that as a player, but. Yeah, I just, I just want to see him be a bit more aggressive and assertive. That's all. But don't you think, mate, that one more season, so next season, he's going to learn? I don't think he's like learning curve has stopped. I think it's just started. That door's open. So I'm I don't hoping. know. I, I agree with sorry. you, mate. I, no, no, it's fine. I, I agree with you. I do. I just, I just think we've got a player on our hands. I think that he's going to. Um, Make you and Tans, your girlfriend, swallow your words. I, I really <laughs> do because um, he's he's got so much potential. And am I sure in the I don't know sixty nine seconds that I've heard him talk in an interview is that a mic put in front of him that I see a confident person or not? I can't comment on that. You know, ten years ago I would have said, oh, he doesn't sound confident. He's you know he just sounds like he's pandering and all of this crap, but. We just don't know, and I think it's nice to see that he has that potential and hopefully he can achieve it next year. And you know what? Maybe if we sign, and we'll get into that in a minute, some players who are not just young but also experienced, maybe you can learn from them. You know what? It's always nice having someone, whether it's in the office, in a factory, in the changing room, where that person, you know, you sort of view them as a mentor and... They say just a few things to you and that's it and off you go. Do you know what I mean? They may not even realise what they're doing. but That happened to Gareth Bale, by the way. I don't know if you know the story. Talk about another time, actually. So, because I'm not allowed, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but there was a player who said a few things and didn't realise it was until Gareth Bale was in Real Madrid when he then heard about it that, oh, yeah, I didn't realise that these words and what I kept saying to him was actually, you know, making him become the Gareth Bale that we all knew. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I, I think it's been a a season where we've seen change throughout the whole club. And, um, yeah, long may it continue. Should we move on to summer movements? Todd, is this your, your thing? Oh, by the way, I was watching the German highlights, not because I want to, I was just at a restaurant earlier and uh, there's this player who plays for RB Leipzig, plays up front, Benjamin what's this? Yes. Oh my, he looks like a young Harry Kane. Or am I wrong? I mean, I just just saw highlights. I just saw highlights, it was like watching Harry Kane when he was like 23. Am I wrong? Completely. Sesco I mean, is good. He is a young, he's a young young nipper. Yeah, but I mean, is he? Do you know anything about him? Other, I, I, I just literally. I know physically he's very good. Who is it? He plays for. Very good. Is, is it Leipzig. Leipzig. No, country Slovenia. Slovenia, I think. 
or Slovakia. That's the one, thing. One I of, think he's definitely got a lot to a lot to go with. Uh, physically, he's fucking insane. Um, a technical level, I think you've always got to sort of wait a little bit longer to kind of see that. And actually, it's only going to develop, you hope, in time. But yeah, I mean, he could definitely be, you know, one to watch, I guess. Anyone else, mate? You are a resident scout. Uh, yes, I just sit at my laptop looking at stats all day. Um, <laughs> I don't actually have a job. That's all I do. All right, carry on um, talking. I'm going to go and put the cat out. She's winding me up on oh, is, that what, is that what it's called now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, James's cat's pissy break. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I really see Ange wants a lot of change. I think that needs to happen. I think there's a lot of place to shift on. Um I think we'll probably see movement in goalkeeping with Austin getting a new contract. Definitely need a couple reserve players at full back. Midfield, we need a defensive midfielder. Nana's always strongly linked. That Emerson, who had a masterclass against Leverkusen in the final last week. Um, We've been linked to him, haven't we? We have. I, I and Paratici like loves Ed- the Italian Ed- market. Edison or Emerson? What's his name? Edison. Edison. Is it? Is it actually Edison? You're, oh, I'm, I'm sure it is Edison. Now. I think it is Edison. You said Edison Gaslight, first. Said wrong. I'm going to check. Edison. Who is it? Atalanta, isn't it? I'm it sure it's Emerson. Edison. Now, now I'm second guessing. It's the same thing. I mean, there's a Brazilian one where another. It is Edison. Edison, Jose dos Santos, Lorenzo da Silva. Is his name? Why do they have so many names, man? Just, Imagine how long his signature is. Why are they all called Dos Santos as well? I don't know. But I was saying, remember the days when you're getting like your football shirt and you used to cost per letter to get it printed? Imagine yeah, do you remember that, was how it, much that would cost. Do you remember that Bolton player? Was it Stelios Giannakopoulos? Fuck you now. His name went up his went up his sleeves. <laughs> Did it actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I said that'd be really fun if it was. We had a kid in my year. And it's like on the exam pages, his last name wouldn't actually fit where you're meant to write your last name. So he had to get an extra bit of paper just to write his last name on. It was really quite funny. <laughs> was he Greek? Um, no, uh, Sri Lankan, I think. Oh, the, 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 the worst of a Thai people. Have you guys ever seen Family Guy? Yes. yes. I don't live under a rock, James. All right. Have you know, we ever the, seen uh, the guy? <laughs> no, but... Have you ever sorry, breathed oxygen, no. mate? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish. There's a... Uh, have you seen the episode where they introduce that person who's a producer of the show, where she's got that name, that surname that has like 25 oh. characters in it? Do you remember that Yeah, one? yeah. yeah. That's a know. great one. I don't know why I said all of that. It's boring. So, who, who are we going to sign? Yeah, it's fine. Who, who are we going to sign? Uh, who do we actually? Who, who do we need? Why? I would why, love Eze. Why? Oh, I would be on my. I'll oh, get my no. knees for Eze. And Elise, the pair of them, things I would yeah. do. In my opinion, Elise's got Man United or Chelsea written all over him. He does. He, he's that kind of player. Like, yeah, I just a, he'd see the con. He'd see the club rather than the project. I guess. Yeah, he's, he's got. He's, it. He seems like a guy that values the Louis Vuitton more than he does anything else. He'll go for the money. Drip. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah, he's a drippy boy. Oh, a fair but place. Uh, yeah. You know oh, who oh, might man. be available on a free? Saha. Yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah. Gone. <laughs> you think so? Brian Nelson? Fuck <laughs> 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 you, know, Let's get Super Pav back at this rate. Johnny. Oh, I, I love Pavlachenko. Yep. You don't have long to go with us. You've got to feed no. the snake, as you told us. Yep. Are there any? Um, you have to say the players, but any positions that you think that we do need to sign and why? Uh, I think we need a good striker, um, just somebody who can attack the ball up front, and we need more creativity. Or Madison just needs to figure out what what his problem was the second half of the season. <clears throat> he started kicking it back in, you know, the last two three games. But he said it. He's- he said it on yesterday's interview, actually. Over oh, to did. over to Josh, our TalkSport uh, correspondent. What did yes. he say about that? What did Madison say about, say about the facts <laughs> after his injury, about his lack of form? Oh, he says, like, well, obviously, once you're declared fit to play, 
you don't come back and then you're back where you were. You've got to get back into a rhythm of things. You've not been playing for ages, so you're naturally you're going to be unfit. You're going to have build up of like lactic acid, which will form quicker, etc. It's not a case of oh well, I was fantastic when I got injured, so when I do get back from injury, I'm just going to step straight back into it. He's basically starting afresh again, and he he also mentioned like towards the end of the season, he felt like he was getting back there again. And obviously mm-hmm. the end of the season came at the worst time for him because for him, it's like, well, now what? But um, yeah, he said that he felt the injury against Chelsea really derailed his season massively. But then you say that, Van der Ven came back from injury and it's like he wasn't injured. <laughs> he came back absolutely fine. Yeah. He's just fucking steamed. I mean, I mean, I guess the... <laughs> yeah. I guess we just need we need some maybe more creativity than just him. We obviously can't rely just on Madison for breaking down defenses and getting the ball where it needs to go. Um, so I think, skip. right, right, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking, Josh. Keep skip, sell Madison. <laughs> no, uh, <clears throat> no. Uh, but yeah, so striker, midfielder, people keep saying defender and I don't, I don't quite get it. Maybe as a, maybe another like backup, but I don't, I don't, I guess I don't get it. We have three, we have three now that are good and, you know, uh, reliable. So what, what what, can somebody explain why everybody keeps saying that we need more defenders? I think think it's the fullbacks. Yeah. I was about to say what James said earlier, like fullback options, like we take Poro out, you got Royale. You take okay. Doggy out. You've got Davis. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> yep. Never mind. Gotcha. I'm, I'm okay. on board. I with like that. Davis, but he's not that player. No, he do well no, at Southampton next role. season. Huh? Send him to Southampton next season. Honestly, send him there. Bring Walker Peters home. Happy days. Yeah, he <laughs> left to. He left so he didn't have to sit on the bench, and we'll bring him back and stick him on the bench. Perfect. Twilight. Like <laughs> what more does he want? <laughs> I, I don't get the Walker Peters high. I, I've not seen him play for a few seasons. Maybe that's the reason. But is he like exceptional or something? And I'm just not really. He's probably no. very like an average right back. Then I don't. I think, think, it's it's no, I think there's some nostalgia. There's some nostalgia to it. I bet. What's wrong with that our hat trick of assists against Bournemouth? Is all I need. I was there. I was there <laughs> that game at Wembley. But uh, what's wrong with our fans? If like even I know that like. Everyone went mental when we re-signed Werner, but it's only a loan, so it's fine, yeah. right? Um, but what's wrong with some of our fans who go, no, we should bring him back? Is that? And then they moan that we're not top of the league. I don't get right. it. Like, what, what is it you want? But that's the thing. You've got to be like smart in your recruitment. You can't just spend like 50 million on like your top target for a backup right back and then moan if we don't sign... Like, I don't know, like an Ivan Tony, a Victor Higuesh, an Anana, Nico Williams, who would take the squad to another level over your backup players. Like, you've got to give somewhere, you know? You can't just spend 60 million on every fucker under the sun. Yeah. Let's just show so. Hannah, before Johnny goes, what, hey. do you think, what do you think about the, um, the, the, the chance that we might change our... Uh, Sort of backup management team, well, not backup, but management team. I'm not talking about Ange, I'm talking about the rest of them, or some of them. What do I think about it? Yeah, you think? Actually, that's a stupid I question really because haven't... you don't have an opinion. Yeah, it's just nothing to do with you. I what don't. would you What would you say <laughs> if all of a sudden we heard that Ryan Mason? Uh, you know, we see the corner flag and they said Ryan Mason. You know, we'd like to wish him the best. Uh, he's moving on. Couldn't care less. I could. Because I think it's a fucking snake. <laughs> I know you could. I don't know that's where it's going because you think he's a snake. Yes. I, I really do. I really, I don't know why. I, I, well, I do know why. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of Do you know what he reminds me of? Have you ever watched the TV, like the kids' TV show Recess? No. Yeah. Hannah, oh you have Randall. James. Sorry, back. Yes, he is, <laughs> he is Randall. He is Randall. And Daniel the Levy snitch. is Miss Finster. Yes. And Daniel Randall. Levy is Miss Finster. No. Randall from Recess. Let's see. Uh, oh, he looks like him as well. Basically, he just snitches on everyone. And he writes on his little notepad. He runs back to Miss Finster and tells her everything that's gone wrong. So I could just see... Um, that's very good. See him 
Ryan Mason did the exact same thing, writing down everything that goes wrong and then running to Daniel Levy. <laughs> and just done this. Can I have his job now, please? Johnny, He's what like player... a skiddy white babs, isn't he? <laughs> Johnny, what player do you not want to be sold? Um, if I could just name one. Do oh, we boy. mean out of the list that possibly will be, or do we mean overall? I was going with overall when I posed that to the group. Uh, I don't have oh, okay. the all-out list for the the players that are in the block. I think everybody that have I've already seen floated that they can that they're that they're toying with selling. I have no problem with any of them. Um, uh, if well, I guess from that list, Rich Arlison, I I, I am a fan of still. I think the dude just it plays with immense amount of emotion, and I love it. Uh, but in our whole squad, God, it's a, it's, it's a toss up for me between Van de Ven and Poro. Those two guys, I think, yeah, um, I would, I would, uh, I would get down on my knees for them, just like, uh, Josh would for, for Crystal Palace players. <laughs> <laughs> so out of yeah. the list that is most likely to leave, so Skip, Hoybier, Kill, the Celso, who am I missing? Sessing has gone, right? Hoy, is yeah. he gone? Was he available? Yeah, he will be Hoy, be a... at the end of the month. Joe Roden. Roden. Out of this, <laughs> out of this list. Yeah. I guess out of, out, of, out of that specific list, um, if they None had to them. keep one, <laughs> if they had care. to keep one, I wouldn't mind keeping Hoybier. I think he is a great, he's a great sub off of the bench. Other than that, everybody else can go. You know that, okay, you said sub, but you know that whenever he started, I don't think we won a game? No. That no. is correct. Yeah, yeah he's he is not a starter. He is 100% not a starter. But if he's, Josh, if you've got someone in your team, not football, just in your team, right, and they're a, they're a really good person, and sometimes when you need them, they, they do a job for you, but when you need them most, they just can't fit in, do you just keep them just for the odd times where you might need them? No, because that's where we've been going wrong all these years. Yeah, that's what I think. Like, this sentimentality, this emotional... Literally. Like, yeah, we, we players, don't sell anyone. Players yep. like Eric Dyer and Davinson Sanchez, they should have been gone long before they were did go. Like, we kept players for so long that it shouldn't have been there. Who's at fault for keeping those players, though? The board. I think we're a bad selling club. Very. I think so. We are terrible at selling. Did you guys hear the interview... He was on the Spurs show, um, Danny Rose. You heard that? Ooh, really, I've seen really. Like a clip. It's oh, really I heard good. This. Is it's this really one good. where he spoke? The re- reason he played so well was because when um, Baldini was yeah. our DOF, yeah, he, he, the Baldini he hated all the English players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you know as well? You will love this, James. Uh, Tosh that is. We could have got rid of Danny Rose and replaced him with Fabio Contral at the time. See, I did like Danny Rose, and then he tried to fucking deep throw his way to a move to Chelsea. So that's not true. He, he, not true. I heard it was very, very true. Well, he he he, he doesn't he, he doesn't shy away from the truth. He, he he basically says that there came a point where he wanted to leave, and in the end, the club was saying, "Well, no, you know, we're not accepting this offer. We're not accepting that offer." And then it was just like, "Well, you know what? I'm going to stay here and leave on a free." If you want to be like that, and it, he he took him to well, basically sought legal counsel when they did the all or nothing thing, which was really interesting because Pochettino, when he was there, didn't allow any cameras in his office, and so when Danny Rose was in Mourinho's office when he was saying, you know, what's going on, he did not know that there were cameras there because they were all hidden. So, for instance, yeah. they you know salt and pepper shakers, they were disguised yeah. as cameras, so things like that and microphones. So he didn't know, and that's why he then said, if you air that, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna. I'm going to go legal on this. And uh, yeah, so it sounds, he didn't confirm to it, but it sounds like it was settled out of court. Uh, but the club, yeah, we're useless, useless at, at getting rid of people. Like this season, just get rid of them. They've bought enough backroom staff to do this, right? Lange and Mun and the rest of them. And, you know, all the it's almost like, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's almost like the, the, the uh, trading stocks, you know, like when, when your stock starts to go down, mm. You have to. There's a point at which you have to decide to sell it or hold it 
to try and win your money back. But we are, we're just awful at just, you know, we've, we've lost oodles and oodles of money. What's the point of holding it? Like on Dembele like, as an example. Like we, he, he's not coming back. He's not going to play. Just sell him for an absolute loss to get him off the fucking books. You know, pay him off. Do whatever the hell we need to do to get rid of him. It annoys me because Chelsea, they are so good at selling players. Mm. Like, you remember, was it that fucking Bakayoko player they had in midfield? He was an absolute fucking donkey for like yeah. two or three seasons. And they managed to flog him off for 40 million. He was absolute horse shit. And yeah. <laughs> I'll say, same with um, Solanke. Like, uh, Liverpool are very good at selling as well, to be fair to him. Right? I think well, like Jordan like, Ibe. Jordan Ibe <laughs> as well. Like, fucking hell. What did he go for, like 40 million or something to Bournemouth? It's like th- 30 million, I think it was. It's something shit. stupid. That's fucking insane. Like, how do they do it? And then Levy's like, mm-hmm, £8.35 pence under. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Yeah, so I think well, look, we have to we have to get rid of players, and Ange has hinted at the fact that all of the plans are in place, and I don't think that's just bringing in players. I think that's the ones leaving as well. So that's I've good. Got, I've got a feeling that Emerson will be gone. AC Milan, he's linked, have not he? He must have the greatest agent on earth. Oh, I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. Was surprised will be paid so much for him. Their, their fans were like, actual money. <laughs> yeah, they they were their fans were so shocked that anyone bought him. Um, I thing. spoke I spoke to I spoke to one of them, and uh, well, you all know him. I won't mention his name. Ah. It's, got, it's got dodgy fingers, and he uh, yeah <laughs> he he said the same thing. He's like Barcelona couldn't believe that anyone had actually paid money for him. He paid twenty was it twenty three million. Yeah. Unbelievable. We had good vibes from him, though. I will say that. Got good horrific, but good vibes. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Like the Nolan mm-hmm. passes, like, dude, fuck all. But Nolan passes off yeah, the pitch. He was rapping as well, wasn't he? Yeah. He's, I was he's say Nolan music passes videos, that go, yeah. go to nobody. Yep, he's in music videos. He's dancing around. He's playing drums. Great vibes. Yeah, Shit player. Hannah, we're, we're, you've got to say something, darling. What do you think about Emerson? No, I'm just listening. Just getting pumped. What do I think of Emerson? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting piped. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> I'm just getting back shots whilst we're chatting. Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> he's. <laughs> Fucking is that what I could tell? Time. No one clipped Jesus. that, okay? <laughs> one minute. Shut up. 52 um, minutes, yeah, he's, 29 he's just, seconds. Uh, 52.79. Go on, Karen. That's going to be somebody's ringtone soon. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a comp merchant, and I don't think he's very good, and I think we should get rid of him. But I think that's pretty much been said, which mm-hmm. is why I didn't I say anything. I think he was in the wrong era. Sorry. I'll say I think he's in the wrong era of say Spurs. Again. Like, he, he was in the wrong era of Spurs. Like, he would have been a good like red nap era, going to Sherwood era player. Just complete crap, but like those Europa League nights with like Choluka and like Suakoto, <laughs> like uh, he would have been a good vibe player for that era, I think. With Soldado, Chadley, yeah, he he would have fitted right in. Just useless as anything, but they were all useless then, weren't they? Fuck, what do you think about? Fed, remember Fazio? <laughs> yeah, oh, mate, remember Jai Yedlin. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, everyone had such high hopes for Yedlin, didn't they? We literally bought him just to sell shirts in America. <laughs> None of you know who, De- who Dean Austin is, do you? Dean Anyone? Austin? I've heard, heard of him. Do you remember was John he like an academy player? No, I don't know if it, No, I think we bought him from Guessing, South End. Um, this was back in the night. It's, Todd, you weren't born. Hannah, you were one. Josh, you weren't born. Was well, I was 93 I was born in. was 40. Yeah, he was around then. He was playing then. And um, I would say that he's better than Emerson. And he was... Dean Austin was dog shit. <laughs> Back in 1992, 93, and 94. God. That's a proper, like, at least you weren't there in the 90s moment. And you're saying I, he was crap in that era. I think the earliest right back I remember is Stephen Carr. That's as early Not bad. He was not bad. He was at least eight times better than Dean Austin. <laughs> and at least eleven times better than Emerson. Wow! You know, so and he was cheer. <laughs> right, let's move on. 
Johnny, you've got to go, right? Can you just tell us the biggest surprise, biggest disappointment, and then you can say goodbye to everyone? Um, biggest disappointment is that we didn't win any trophies. Biggest surprise is that... Is that... Hmm, let's see. Sexual assault will get you banned. And with that, I want to say thank you so much <laughs> for our listeners. <laughs> and uh, I, I bid you farewell. Sayonara. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next year and uh, stay tuned for more summer fun. I'm sure we'll do a couple summer update uh, pods at some point, right? Well, you're going to be on one of the other ways because you're going to tell us all about lot lizards. I'm going to be on one of the other? Of course I'm going to be on the other, one of the other ways. And can we talk about how jet fuel can't melt steel beams? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Can we record tin, that one on tin foil hat? Can we can record that one on the eleventth of September? No, no, that's when the yes. will be on. Right? No, it doesn't matter. Special. Can we get Matt Letizia on? <laughs> can, we, can we do a nine? Can we do a nine eleven special? Yeah, I, I, I will not be. be I will not be in attendance. <laughs> no, be I just want to listen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just want to listen to how many uh, how many bullshit theories you come up with, Josh. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I'm saying it's on a like Wednesday that. night, so he wouldn't even miss Europa League football for that. So oh. you know, thank the you for fact, doing them. The, the fact that you just went into the that. fucking calendar. <laughs> See that? <laughs> <laughs> Where he's celebrating 9 11. Right, that has been lovely, mate. Um, we'll speak soon. See you later. Thank you, everybody. Love you. Bye, guys. There's one thing that's not on the running order, but let's just briefly talk about it quickly. A lot of people are sort of a bit confused as to what makes a successful season for a manager. And a lot of people are saying that um, Arteta had a better season than Ten Hag. I'm not saying Ten who? Ten Hag, sorry. A hag. <laughs> He's a hag. Shut up. All right? Ten Hag. All right? He won the trophy. He's won two in the last two seasons. They won it. They won the League Cup last year. Was it? I think I can't remember what they won. Yeah, League Cup last year. Right. Okay. Does making winning does winning a trophy as a manager mean that you've been more successful rather than someone who's finished second and not won anything? Yeah, a thousand percent. We had this debate every season. Like, remember those pot years where we finished like second or third? Wouldn't win anything, but then Arsenal would win like an FA Cup. But tell me you wouldn't trade those seasons for an FA Cup. Yes, and 100%. also that is that's the barometer that Arsenal fans use as well, the whole trophy list thing. So therefore Ten Hag has had a better season than them. Have you all speaking of Arsenal fans, have you also seen the videos they're now doing on how they did it just before they played Everton? It's like even if we don't win the league, we've come second, we've had a great run. We've really enjoyed it. We've been there for the ride and everything. And they're, we're like saying, they're literally celebrating everything they ripped us for under Pochettino. They have become that squad. They've mm-hmm. become that side now that they do. They're just, they're just there to look good. They don't do fuck all of it. They just look good. Then eventually they'll just fade away. And then back to mid-table where they belong. Maybe, maybe it'll be the same thing that happened with Poch, where the players sort of get to the point where, well, we always, always needy men, yeah. We're needy men, and, and like, I, I believe that sooner or later they're going to stop listening to that quit. Um, I don't well, believe it's changed. That was a massive ankle snap, mate. Are you yeah, right? That was a good one. I felt great as well. I right. needed that one. What the fuck? You, you've had about 15 of them during the pod. Oh, no. You have you noticed them or have you? No yeah. one said anything. I just thought they'd gone on the radar. No, no. We're just sick of it at this point, Josh. Yeah. It becomes up. part of the ambiance. Yeah. <laughs> We're not angry, we're just disappointed with you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just, if someone said to me, would I have changed Pochi's um, greatest seasons for the one we are asked to win a cup or whatever, I wouldn't, because for me it's not always destination, it is the journey. I don't care if that sounds cliche, but it is for me anyway. I reckon we might have had a better chance at winning a trophy if Pochettino didn't have that weird... Epiphany where you thought Song can play left wing back, like in a semi final, and also stick Vormin goal. Like, oh God, what? Why? Why is he experimenting in semi semi finals? I know it's like he threw it right. It was weird. It was so weird. Why? I was hoping that they would have asked uh, Rose about that, but they didn't. Like, why? Why would you do that in one of the and against Chelsea? 
We lost 2 0, didn't we, in that game? Yeah. No, 4 2. Was it yeah, it was like the way Matic in that absolute fucking screen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, me, and Hazard. Me and Dad saw that we both like. Games, <laughs> when Matic did that, me and my dad are both like, yeah, fair play. You can have that. <laughs> <laughs> the way it was this bracket, wasn't it? It was like perfectly in the corner. Oh, you can get more top bins if you tried. No, not at all. And Hazard scored a worldie as well. It was also, like, what, the Ericsson ball to Deli Alley. Oh, my God. That's what? an assist of like a generation. It was ridiculous. Right, okay. So before Sorry, we get on, it's all right. Before we get on to Hannah's last segment, next season I'm hoping the sound will be better once we figure out what the problems are. Because trust me, it's not mics. Hannah, how many really expensive headsets and mics do you have now? She's so delayed. I think when you said that you cut out. <laughs> Sorry, how many expensive headsets, like really expensive headsets, do you now have? That are I have one the... really expensive one and one pretty expensive one. Yeah, so we don't know what it is. Maybe we have to get her a laptop, right? And um, we'll get this. So you got the same one as me, haven't you? Yeah, she does. Uh, I do. Josh, that hiss. One minute, let's just mute Josh for a minute. Let's just see if that. Yeah. See, so look at that. We mute Josh. The hiss disappears. One of these days he'll figure it out. I promise. Can you mute, your, will... mute yourself quickly? Yeah. See how Thank clear is that? that? By the Lovely. way. Lovely. Oh, bliss. <laughs> this is very clear. I don't. It is. It. Is it really? <laughs> right. So even me then. Even even me. I don't know what it is, guys. Honestly, we are going to fix it. Okay, it's a work in progress as a podcast, and we will get there. And there'll be a lot more social media next season. So, for instance, on fifty-two minutes and twenty-nine seconds, where. Um, Hannah decided to give you a free ringtone, you will be hearing things like that next season. Hannah, over to you. Tell us about The Other Way. Um, okay, so The Other Way was going to be the degenerate side of us, just without the football. Oh, is that correct? Have I got that right? Yeah. You can unmute yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so all the fucked up stuff that we talk about. Um, we can throw 9-11 in there, I don't mind. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. I, think, um, I saw someone kind of stole our idea, but I just think that we're better at it. So, yeah, I think we're a lot better at it, and uh, mm, I think it's we'll, more of a natural thing. I think we'll do like a pilot one over this summer before the season starts, and if you guys like mm-hmm. it, and it will probably it won't be on this feed. I don't know. We'll have to discuss it because a lot of people are like wanting to hear Spurs stuff, and if they hear us talking about dealers and cocks, then yeah, they probably think it's the you know Osborne Way podcast. So, yeah, but may- the yeah. thing is, yeah, we do talk about that anyway, and people yeah, still listen. So. They still do. Yeah, we don't really get too many haters or none. freaks. Yeah, you are you're all freaks, and you're even rating us. We've got like quite, you know, compared to other podcasts, our Spotify ratings are are quite high. Mm-hmm. Do you know what, I just don't get why we don't get hate mail. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, we've got a website. You can go to it. You can leave messages. And... We did once, didn't we? And then after that, you told me to stop talking about her. Who did we get? Oh, was... yeah. But then we were kind of vindicated after that, weren't we? So it all when, sorted um, itself out. Werner and Johnson were like assisting and scoring from each other. <laughs> mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Poetry. So, listen, it's been fun. It's been great. We've been going for just over an hour, and um, we'll be back. I don't know when the other way is going to be. We'll like talk about it next few weeks. We'll have a like two week break, and then we'll come up with some a poll where we can ask you guys what it is that you want us to talk about, and uh, you can send in your questions. And I think it's going to be a fun podcast. I really I do. Think so. oh, and you said also, yeah. you said that. Some of it was going to have to be anecdotal. Yeah, it will. So we're going to have to use some stories. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's oh, what's the point? I mean, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, Hannah's got loads. You can talk about the ones Tons. in Turkey. That'll fill up, <laughs> <own> show, <laughs> <couldn't> <laughs> fill up 17 <laughs> seasons. <laughs> yeah. Your new boyfriend, you have to write, please don't listen to the next podcast. You will finish with me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's downstairs. I hope he can't hear me. <laughs> Was he the one is on Pornhub at the beginning? That's why your internet was throttling. That was the problem. Maybe. I don't know if you heard me throw something at him, but... Do you throw it back? So it was. 
I, oh, do you know what? Back. Yes, I do. <laughs> 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 What's the, whatever's there I don't know right so do you want to say do you, do you want to say good cock six do you want to say cock, cock six should be what do you think should be the uh, title cock six no any other um maybe or throw back <laughs> muncher <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, thro- Hannah throws back oh, what do you want to, what did you say you yeast <laughs> muncher rat muncher oh <laughs> <laughs> yeast much is brilliant though. actually I think it will be I think it will be Yacinda's Yacinda's snake I think that's what it's going to be John is not here so he'll Lovely. laugh when he sees the title I thought you said yeast muncher <laughs> <laughs> and all I can see in my head is a mouthful of thrush <laughs> <laughs> on that note yeah on that note guys it's been great do you want to say goodbye Anna for the last time this season love you bye Todge. Adios, give us five stars. Cheers. <laughs> and uh, Josh. Goodbye, all. Goodbye for me. Yeah.